Welcome back to Dolphins Reloaded, our preseason look at the 2003 Dolphins, a team that already had star appeal as a huge chunk by trading for Junior Seau. Jill Martin has an exclusive look at how Seau puts fuel in his 34-year-old tank. Jill? Well, after spending 12 seasons with the Chargers, Junior Seau has found a new way to get charged up with the Dolphins. Number 55 is totally committed to winning, and in San Diego, he shows us just how dedicated he is. Do not adjust your television. Things may look blurry now, but they are about to get much clearer. I don't set an alarm, I just wake up. I like to get up before everyone else. Ah! Maybe it's the competitive nature of mine, but uh, I want to beat everyone every day. This is how the Finn's newest superstar says good morning. Oh, wait up. From 5 to 5.30 a.m., six times a week between camps in Miami, number 55's wake-up routine includes lifting weights, finding his balance, and getting his mind ready to hit the wall. Off to the beach. Come enjoy me. The world meet Liba. Liba is one of the trainers of the Augustu method. Tampa Bay's John Lynch is one of her students also. Junior believes this method saved his ankle and his career. It's definitely a base to why I'm still doing what I'm doing. This specialized program's main base is in San Diego and is designed to minimize risk of injury while conditioning the body to reach maximum potential. And that self-achievement, the self-respect in what you gain every day after this workout is something that carries you on to the next day. Four, five, oh. awesome. This half hour warm up, as they call it, focuses on flexibility, balance, and core strength. And it is certainly unique. Are you sure you want to do this? I have some insurance at work. Smart. The Stanford guy grabs the legs. <laughs> Got it. There I go. Five, four, three, two, one. Ah. <laughs> oh, no better way to wake up. Maybe. <laughs> Great way to wake up. Yeah. Here with Johnny and Sergeant Leba. 2003 patch. Be here no more. This obstacle course, called the Patch, challenges the athletes to hit the wall. You know when you're going to hit the wall. And what you try to do is try to find something deep and um, gain some kind of strength from that. Um, whether it's spiritual or what have you, there's something in there that can push the body and the mind. you got to find it. This is the uh, power line workout. So it got named a long time ago because they lead the power lines through here and they have to keep this open uh, for trucks to get through. Miami Dolphin, okay. Miami Dolphin. <laughs> the singing Super Bowl champ, along with Junior, uses this short workout to build lower leg strength. I don't think Miami has the, has the hills like this and there's nothing like these uh, to condition yourself. So it's great work. This is called the puke hill. I didn't name it, the athletes did after the years. The smart way is to start really slowly at the bottom and you know, whoever gets very competitive uh, just cannot make it to the top or gets into the point of getting sick. Was Junior sick? Nah, just stretching. So as the clock ticks in Seau's nearby restaurant, anticipating his October 27th return, Junior continues to crawl his way towards the top, striving right. to hit the wall. Well, now that training camp has begun, Junior's workouts have not ended. Before camp begins, early in the morning, Sergeant Leba has given Junior shortened versions of his normal programs. Number 55 redefines the word intense. Jim? 